Hello, my name is Rahul. Today I am going to show you how to create a circular progress bar with transparent center. I am going to use code from my previous vlog uploaded on YouTube over here. The circular progress bar using Java. Okay, first demo. Uh, demo is this. See this? Okay. It changes with resize. Okay. Okay, now close it. I am going to code it new project next trans progress bar finish. Okay, now I am going to define a J frame form that is your demo finish. Now add a event in it. Okay. Now create a thread new thread. Okay. Dot start. Now new runnable. Okay. In this we are going to define a for loop. Okay, that for loop runs from 0 to 100 less than equal to 100 okay and over here we are going to define a control create a java class name it progress bar give it a t for transparent finish it will extend that is your J panel. Okay. Now override paint component. Okay. Anyone? We are going to use swing. Okay. Now not complete over here. Now define name append transform ad is equal to append transform. Okay. Now now we are going to define uh, a graphic con uh, graphic context that is a graphic 2D context graphic 2D. Okay g2 is equal to graphic study that is your g okay now we are going to save this graphic 2d context okay a fin transform save context is equal to g2 dot get transform okay we saved it now we are going to define a another graphic transform on which we are going to draw okay that is your current CTX okay now this will concat dot concat to 80 okay of this now we are going to translate means we are going to move origin from top left corner to middle of the component okay now current context dot translate that is your height and width that get width divide by 2 get height divide by 2 okay now we are going to um, draw a arc okay before that we are going to pass it g2 dot transform 
current context okay this is your current transformation okay now we are going to draw a arc g2 dot draw arc okay the x position is your half of the width okay now we are going to use height never use the width to make it to keep it square okay use height now minus 40 we need to minus 20 make it 20 okay M means 10 uh, at the top and 10 at the 10 margin 10 at top and bottom now same here for y left right top bottom we have a margin of 10 which is again multiply by 2 now your width width is this that is your 10 ok 10 now start angle is 0 and end angle is 360 ok now we are going to pass the stored context g2 dot transform that is your save context over here ok now one more thing we need to set g2 dot uh, set color that is your red ok now run it no first we need to drag it in the form ok we need to first build it build now ok drag the edges to form edge ok towards form edges that will automatically stretch it to all edges now save it give it a name rename it ctl pbr control progress ok now go to source ok over here we need to delete this complete mean will be moved to t progress bar dot java trans progress bar dot java ok ctl dot now we need to define a function in this control public void render progress int current progress ok define a variable local variable int progress is equal to 0 0 now give it over here is equal to current progress ok now first we are going to just render it ok we pass it over here progress multiply by 3.6 make it integer ok save it now call the rendered progress over here pass i ok give it a sleep of 100 ok handle the exception ok save it 
now go to main function over here demo obj form is equal to new demo okay obj form dot set visible true now run it not working okay let's check it first repaint okay format it okay now again run it still not rendering okay the position okay it must be another half of the from the origin and it must be negative okay we are in the center of the uh, component control and we must start from the negative side of the control of the coordinates of the position over here okay both negative now say this okay now we are going to add the stroke to render it little bit bigger g2 dot set stroke new basic stroke ok now the stroke is 12.0 f that is a float ok now basic stroke dot round uh, line is round line ending is round and when it joins then again it is round basic stroke dot join is round ok now see this run it see this it get thicker and our progress bar looking good I am going to to resolve that orientation too. Okay, now we need to resolve the orientation. There we need to rotate it over here. Translate then rotate, rotate. Now we need the radian math dot radian. to radian ok make it 270 as we used in the previous ok see this over here this one ok go over here ok now see this it's still not it's running in opposite direction we need to move it from right to left for that we need to put negative over here and run it see this it is the other way now ok now we need to handle this handle this overlap it's not rendering properly so we are going to add we are going to make it double 40 make it 40 and make it 20 20 for this because we add the stroke ok now run it ok it's still not rendering properly Do that half. Okay. See this. Now it is full and complete. See this. Okay. Okay. Now we need to make it look little bit smooth over here 
from our previous code copy this and realize give it give it here not here wrong edit here okay now run it see this now it is now it is smooth okay now we are going to add text in it for text we are going to again copy the code over here okay and paste it over here okay now we need to again define the transformation copy entire this paste here make it two do not concat it with the ongoing not translate it only rotate this time it is going to be 90 okay now g to transform this copy here and copy paste here now see this okay now to show you the transparency close it okay to show the transparency i am going to use the colors g dot set color that is your new color okay that is your mm, new random dot next int bound is 255 okay copy it paste paste okay now g dot fill rectangle okay 0 comma 0 now get width and height copy paste here remove the half format it okay now see this okay the color changing and your progress bar progressing okay that way you can create your transparent progress bar you can add one more layer to show the track over here let me show you make it 360 the color is red it is gray gray run it okay try it share with your friend and subscribe thank you